This video is on the assassination of John F. Kennedy and all of the different scenarios that could have erupted from this event not occurring. Over the next few minutes, things such as nuclear weapons, presidential elections, and war will be discussed. So what happened on November 22, 1963? While sitting in the back seat of a car, parading through the streets of Dallas, John F. Kennedy, our president at the time, was shot in the head by a rifle and was immediately dead. This occurrence sparked a state of outrage and shock in the American people, similar to the effect that 9-11 had on us. Because of this shocking event, many short-term effects followed, but it is hard to see how this changed things over time. Kennedy's plans, politically, were similar to the preceding president in 1964, Lyndon B. Johnson, but things definitely could have gone differently. The first scenario that could have changed for better or for worse happened one year later, in 1964. The elections of 1964 could have been changed dramatically had Kennedy been alive, mostly because Kennedy was the same political party as Lyndon Johnson. At the time of his death, Kennedy had soaring popularity, mainly because of his liberal outlook, which was considered fresh and new to the American people. Of course, those devilish good looks didn't hurt his case either. Had Kennedy stayed alive, we could have seen him come out on top in the Democratic primary, and this would almost surely cap a win over Barry Goldwater, who was opposite of him and unwilling to adjust his views. If this would have happened, the whole issue of segregation could have been changed as well. Kennedy was adamantly against discrimination, but he was reluctant to address it for fears of the international community hearing of it. This could have buffered the signing of the Civil Rights Act in 1964 by several years, which would have had made it harder for people to get used to accepting other races. Today, we ourselves could have had a different outlook on other races as well, changing the whole landscape of our country. And if we had elected Kennedy in 64, this could lead to Johnson not being elected the next term, and so on, meaning that we could have had a completely different set of presidents. We might not have gone to war in Iraq, handled the Cold War the way we did, and we might not have the first African American president of the U.S., Andrew Biden. Over the next 10 years, after 1964, the decisions made by Johnson in the Vietnam War could have been much different had Kennedy been in office. When Kennedy became involved in the war in 1960, his goal was to let the South Vietnamese strengthen their army so they could withstand North Vietnamese forces. When Johnson came in, he immediately started sending the troops and being much more aggressive. While he started playing the defensive role in the late 60s, Kennedy would have likely started much earlier, possibly ending the war much earlier than 1975. The sending of less troops could have meant more lives spared and less money spent, helping our country greatly. Had Kennedy survived, we might have had a completely different outlook on nuclear weapons. One of Kennedy's main goals was to eliminate nuclear weapons as he could foresee the destruction they could cause. He was very adamant about this, while Johnson was against it but willing to use it. It is hard to view the world today without the technology of nuclear weapons, but that is what could have happened if Kennedy would have had the chance to be the most powerful man in the world a little longer. This could have drastically affected the happenings of the Cold War in the 70s and we would not have the fear we live with today of nuclear weapons and mass destruction. This may seem far-fetched and distant, but just one change in history could change the shape of the world, thus affecting and impacting our lives in more ways than we will ever know. Had Kennedy survived, we would be in a different world today, and the whole outlook of the future would be different as well.